Hello, it's Anya from Digital Painter Lee. Today I wanted to show you how I added this sweet little face of a pug into the sailor's portrait from my latest Ahoy Sailor collection. So we have this little guy and we're going to put his face into the sailor's face. First of all, we're gonna face change direction he's facing because he's ever so gently looking that way to the left. Uh, so we're gonna change it, rotate it, image, image rotation, canvas, flip canvas horizontally. And that gives us ever so gently uh, the difference. So when you photograph your pet, make sure the pet is in a nice uh, lit in conditions and also it, the pet is facing the right direction. So now I'm going to choose my object selecting tool and now I'm choosing this mask on the bottom here in a layer panel and that cuts out my pet. However, you can see there's a tiny little hair. I'm not entirely happy with that. So double click on that mask area. And there's nothing new here guys I always do it that way if you haven't got Photoshop um, that might be a bit trickier you have to have, do things by hand by painting things over uh, with Photoshop with this addition with this tool uh, it makes life so much easier I know that even some mobile phones apps have that option so if you want to have a play with that uh, go ahead but I just uh, love Photoshop I use it on a daily basis. I know that GIMP you can get it for free. Uh, so apply layer mask and now I'm going to just select his head underneath the whole body and we're probably going to delete that bit of neck as well but we're going to transform that into the move it into the our sailor area. <laughs> he looks so funny already. I'm just gonna make it closer with my move tool I'm actually holding my spacebar and dragging on the screen with mouse uh, we're going to resize it his head but we, before we do that I'm going to reduce opacity a, a little bit so I can see how he fits into that area and I want him his head to be under that hat oh my god he's so cute it's just something about pugs I love like a little loaves of bread <laughs> yeah I'm happy with that I think let's just zoom out to see the whole image maybe slightly smaller head so that's the hardest bit for me just estimate how that looks yeah I think that's good go with your gut feeling I'm just gonna take the opacity down again so whilst I'm on the on this layer of the head I'm putting a masking option on on the bottom of your layer panels so that way we're going to be able erasing bits of his body and bringing it back so make sure you're on a hundred percent opacity on a nice soft round brush which comes with your Photoshop and I'm reducing the size of my brush and very gently go over the areas I don't want And I know physically he should be having those ears probably underneath as well. I just think it's such a shame to lose the ears. Keep the ears but make that underneath. And you know, it's your picture, you can do whatever you like. No one's going to tell you off for that. Bring the opacity all the way up again. And you see what I mean? Those ears are sticking out. I'm not deleting them here. You can do if you want. But it's just looking so much more cute and we are all after cute so he's spilling with his kind of neck here it's fine that's looking good i'm just not keen on that's not dark enough so i'm gonna come back here create another layer i'm gonna take some dark color oh that's not dark enough i need to go darker and just go here really 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 dark so I'm gonna put him back in. That looks about right. We're gonna create another layer here uh, and that's gonna go on top. We'll multiply. 
just to create that shadow underneath and then the shadow on the body uh, and the head. We can reduce that first of all a little bit and we can delete with our eraser things that won't be so much in the shadow and his head here because we need to cut out things on Nika in the shadow, not his face. If that makes sense. Uh, I think that's about good. To pull that hat. You can play with shadows, you can add a little bit more here if you think that's going to be darker. Maybe use the color of this uh, fur or darker bits of this fur. Let's go here. Right, so this is our puggy ready and now what we need to do, we need to add a couple of bits, apply the mask. So with this one, when you have multiply, you have to select both and merge layers. Because if you do, if you just go top one and merge down, it will change into this multiply weirdness. So select both and merge layers. That way you are not um, changing any into any funny look. I think this pug is looking a little bit too orange for my liking because the whole image got kind of cyan feel. So what we're gonna do, we're just gonna give him a little bit of a different look. Image adjustment, color balance. That's the one and going towards cyan and look how nicely that changes things for us. And a little bit blue because he's got that cool cool look temperature wise and not only so okay and that fits so much better now what we can do we can add on our texture so in your pack you have your textures included let's go over And with this one, I suggest you use overlay. You can use uh, softly, but overlay gives a little bit more detail. You could see a little bit more that uh, grain. It, it merges it so nicely. And one more, you can also add another texture. And this time use a soft light because it's quite intensive and you can see it's very, very strong. Just bring it down to your liking to around 42. The beauty of this is just merges everything into one cohesive look. You don't have just without it. It can be quite obvious that the head is from a different picture, but it's just tricking the mind a little bit that it's all been done like this all together. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. Please let me know if you have any questions at all and I'll leave the link in the description to this product. Okay, uh, take care, bye!